What's crack lacking? It's your boy Broch Mode, just in case you did not know. So we're back for another off season. This time we're doing the Philadelphia Eagles. This is one that was requested by a few, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do it. Let me know in the comment section below what team you would like me to do an off season for, meaning free agent and mock draft. On top of that, this is what would I, I, me, Broshmo would do. Not what I think, what I predict's gonna happen. This is what would happen if I were in control. So, don't come at me. I don't think they're gonna do that. Well, this is what I would do. Tell me what you think I did. <laughs> but uh, go ahead, become a bro and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Also, should be plenty of content um, this week. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, re re rankings for the offensive line as well as the cornerback position. I think those are the ones that probably need the most updated. Probably gonna do edge rushers after that as well. And uh, I think next week I'm gonna do. I next week or the week after I'm gonna do a mock draft, but I'm gonna do it. What I think the team should do. Not what I predict. So it's going to be a lot different. It's going to be some players that probably you don't agree with that I am picking high. So that ought to be fun, though. I like, I, 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 I love the mock drafts. So um, let me know uh, anything else you want to see on the channel, and I will try to provide. But without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's take a gander at the Philadelphia Eagles. Their cap situation 41 million. Doesn't look half bad, right? Until you look at their available available cap for the next year for 2021. And I'm doing this all on over the cap. Over cap, really awesome site. They they have a calculator so you can play your own off-season uh, GM. As well as they have project uh, per they have projected contracts for some of the free agents. That's where I'm pulling a lot of this from. So if you think contracts are a little too high, a little too low. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting her from getting her from a source, so my bad. But um, yeah. Uh, anyway, twenty only ten million in available cap in 2021. So we do got to be careful with the cap that we have. Um, so it's kind of scary. So I made a few cuts. Uh, first off, I'm starting with Malcolm Jenkins. That might be a little, this might, it might be like, well, why, why would you release Malcolm Jenkins? He's on a great deal. Well, he wants more money. That's the problem. And if I want to hope to sign free agents in 2021, he can't be on the team. Not with that type of cap hit. So I had to let him go. Freeze up. Uh, how much space does he free up? He frees up almost 5 million. Also went ahead and got Bradham out of there um, just to free up more space. But I mean, that makes our linebacking like court, like only TJ Edwards. So there's going to be a lot of the linebacking court. They ain't going to look all that great. It's just a work in progress though. Um, On top of that, I got rid of Rasul Douglas because uh, he wasn't really, he wasn't developing um too well but then again that goes for a lot of philadelphia's you know they're secondary on top of that i'm not re-signing anybody i can't afford jason peters he gets hurt anyway so i'm not gonna pay him like nine million to come back and play like 12 games uh rodney uh, McL uh mcleod or whatever yeah, i'm not bringing him back um nelson aguilar best believe he ain't coming back Vinny curry so nobody nobody's coming back uh we're just, we're gonna fresh start. No Jalen Bills, nobody. Oh, but free agency. I decided this was my plan going into it. I'm gonna address the secondary heavily. I'm kind of content with where the offense is at. I just wanna add a few more playmakers. Luckily, it's a big playmaker draft at uh, the running back and the receiver uh, position. So I'll address that in the draft. Uh, on top of that, Linebacker position, I'm probably going to address that with the draft or some very low-cost free agents that I probably won't list out here. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going straight secondary. So I decided, uh, decided to go after Byron Jones. Let's get a let's finally get someone that has been consistent his whole career. Jones has been that five years, 80 million is his projected cap uh, or a projected contract. Top of that, I got a really solid slot there in McKenzie Alexander. Um, 
big fan of him. He's been probably one of the most consistent guys in that, uh, or guys at corner for the Vikings. And then Devin McCourty, another guy that's just been pretty consistent. Um, and I mean, it's a guy we don't have to even hold on to after next season. So I don't mind that. Leaves us with 21 million to kind of fill fill out the roster. So let's go ahead and let's do this mock draft because this mock draft, honestly, it's going to be a little um, vital to how we're going to get things done and how we're going to fill out. Uh, ideally, ideally, I want to hit some stuff on the defense first. All right, so this is what we're looking at for the mock draft. Um, I would have loved to address linebacker, but we both know didn't happen uh i would have loved henry ruggs it didn't happen he uh got he got picked up uh wow before cd lamb that's wild um no lie i was kind of eyeing grant delpit that didn't happen either um so i mean okay what what does that leave us with we could go t higgins that's kind of similar what y'all got with uh jj uh artheo whiteside and i'm not ready yet i went i'm i'm personally not ready to stop trying to develop him i do think he can he can be a solid receiver in the future so i'm looking for more for a speedster and if we're we honestly we could reach for jalen um rager here i don't want to christian fulton pops off the board right here like for me like i'm really i'm really kind of i'm a little hesitant just because uh, yeah, I haven't really seen him play zone in college football and that cover three there, you know, I, I, I'm a little hesitant. So I'm going with a safe pick someone. Cause that's the thing with the Eagles. There's been no consistency outside. of like a Malcolm, Malcolm Jenkins in the secondary. So I'm, I'm going to go with, I don't know if y'all going to like this, but this is what I feel like we should do. Um, I'm actually going to go with Xavier McKinney. He's got a a very high floor not an incredibly big ceiling but you know what it's someone reliable in the secondary so i still i think we could oh gosh oh <laughs> like what the heck just happened everything got big um so ideally i want to hit receiver for this next pick receiver corner um be nice if jalen rager is there i think he might be Looks like he will be. Be there, my boy. Um, Because, dude, Jalen Rager, I shouldn't have to talk you into him. I mean, there's other guys. Like, you could do Denzel Mims. Oh, because, actually, that's not a bad option. Because he's a speedster in his own right. But Rager is higher on my board. I think he's better, uh, he's better at separation. Let's take a quick look at everyone that is available. Uh, before we make any hasty decisions, corners look like they're flying off the board. Oh, hold. Oh, behave. Hold up. All right. Jalen Johnson is ideal. He is ideal. Um, let's take a quick look at linebacker. No lie. I won't mind. I'll wait a little bit on that. Uh, it's a deep, deep receiver class. I mean, honestly, I do want to address the, uh, the res I do want to address receiver, but just not now. Um, hmm, this is, this is tough, but I, I like Jalen. I think Jalen Johnson's a first round pick. So that kind of like, we don't really need to take a look at secondary after this. I think Jalen Johnson is a first round pick. He's ideal for uh, Philly's defensive scheme. All right, so next we can kind of look at a few different ways to go. Wow, Austin Davis here in the third. That wouldn't be a bad pick either. All right. So let's take a look at how Jalen. Oh, he's there's no way he's making it. Yeah, that's solid. See, that's the crazy thing about this draft. This year's draft, so many good players are going to be available so late. It's so hard to anticipate who. 
far as I'm concerned, we hit up everything we wanted to. I'll look. I'll look here. Um, there's a couple of people I'm looking at. Uh, yo, no way. Dang, Troy die. My boy. Roy die, my boy. Roy die, my boy. Hey, I mean, he went in the third round in my other, in my mock, so it's believable. I think he is a third round talent, so. Uh, we're just shoring up spots. At this point, I'm taking best player available. I, I, I've hit really everywhere I wanted. Um, maybe, maybe take a look at the defensive line, but. I'm very satisfied with where where what we've what we've gotten. Um wow, wow, dude, this draft is just filled with so many good players. Uh we're back again for our pick. All right. Hmm. We could double dip at receiver. Uh, Nate Moody, I'm ignoring that because I think he's going to be a s second rounder, maybe third, maybe early third. I don't think there's any way he's going to be available at this part of the draft. Uh, let's take a quick look at the edge. All right, so there is a guy I'm looking at uh, over here. Windsor actually, Windsor beat. He'd be ideal for the scheme. No lie. Running backs, cuz. Why not? Zach Moss. Oh, man. I know you're not going to be here, Zach Moss. Like I said, I'm kind of eyeing best player available at this point. Um, I don't think Throckmorton will be survived past day three or day two, I should say. Um, I don't really need to look at center. Uh, uh honestly no harm in grabbing driscoll here i like that pick uh just because andre dillard uh, just if he doesn't if he doesn't develop this year then i mean we got a back we got a contingent contingency plan yeah contingency plan um which is not half bad uh, are we up again? Oh, jeez, Louise. All right. Best player available. Best player available mentality. Kayvon Wallace. Uh, I feel like we've kind of already hit up the slot. You know what? Uh, what? We're in the fourth still, correct? All right. So, really to shore up the receiver. Position. Ooh. Juwan Jennings. I don't think he'll be here, though. I don't think he'll be here. More risk, realistically, I think I would go like an Anto Antonio Gandy Golden. Just in case uh, JJ Arthea Whiteside does not improve. All right. And Eagles back on the clock. No way. You guys got too many picks. All right. You know. Oh, I didn't mean to get quiet. I'm just thinking really hard. You know, I like Windsor for the defensive line. Guy that could play inside, he could play. I honestly, I think he could play out on the edge. So I think he's a good rotation player at this point. So doing a lot of things I like. I might. I'm probably gonna maybe go back to linebacker. Just look at who they have available. Like if Logan Wilson continues to fall. Probably want to take maybe another corner. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe a safety. Maybe someone to develop. I could play, uh, play free. Okay, Logan Wilson's going to be my top target. Uh, let's take a look at safety. Oh, ooh, Reggie Floyd wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, Julian Blackman is also another guy. Jalen Elliott. Ah, Jalen Elliott. Jalen Elliott wouldn't be bad. 
Gildra, I think, is going to be a slot only. Fun fact. So we're going to go Logan Wilson here. Uh, where are you at? Right there. Uh, maybe, maybe, do you want to look in the interior? But uh, Tommy Kramer maybe is a late round. I mean, we're getting there. What, we're going to the sixth round, so... We're in that, we're in that area. In that area, we start just picking up guys, you know, fill rolls. All right. All right, so I know the... Uh, all right. Sean Vaughn's a steal at this point. Uh, Blackman. I looks like I could wait on Blackman, and I like a couple of guys here at safety. Uh, our corner. I don't know, lie. Our corner group's not bad. Cause keep in mind that we also have Sidney Jones, right? I believe so. I believe. So, can I sort by position? Kind of annoying. Yes. So, uh, I don't think he'll be here. I think he's going to be a third, fourth rounder. All right, Tom Kramer again, not a bad idea. Yeah, well, best player available. Bond's a good pick at this point. All right, so that's nine picks for the Eagles. Jeez Louise, any more coming? Yeah, looks like it, wow. Eagles, you got a lot of picks. Oh. Man, there are a lot of good players in this draft, man. Just watching people that fall. Like, wow. Just a talent. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just pick up Kramer right now. So we've built a lot of play. A lot of we've built. We've, we've hit about every position. If we're being honest. We've hit about every position. So. Uh, and I'm feeling much better about my roster. If I'm an Eagles fan. I'm feeling way better. Especially in the secondary. That's much improved. Uh, oh, there goes Blackman. That's alright. Alright. At this point, best player available. Best player available. That's the, that is like the... Phrase of the day, best player available. I mean, we've we got two linebackers already with Logan Wilson. Okay, no more picks. All right, that's fine. All right, let's take a gander at the draft class. Xavier McKinney, that looks nice. Jalen Johnson looks nice. Jalen Rager, I don't think he'll be there that long, but again, it's a draft crazy things happen you know uh, especially in a receiver class that's so deep i mean you can see a lot of receivers go on go on or off the board you know and then troy die he helps fill that safety or that uh linebacker role jack triscoll is a nice maybe rotation player or a developmental piece antonio gandy golden another big boy that could be alshon jeffrey's heir apparent robert windsor is a good rotation piece logan wilson he can compete there at linebacker. We got Keyshawn Vaughn to help with Miles Sanders. Tommy Kramer there just in case we get injured. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. All right. So for the starting lineup on offense, it looks basically similar to last year minus Jason Peters or similar to last year. Carson Wentz. We got Miles Sanders, Alshon Jeffrey, and Deshaun Jackson. Hopefully they're back. Uh, and can stay healthy but if not we got guys like um oh gosh 
Jalen Rager, Antonio Gandy Golden, JJ Arthea Whiteside. Uh, who's the cat out of Houston? I can't think of his name at the moment. I'm gonna look this up. I need to know. I need to know. I need Greg Ward. There we go. Greg Ward. So there's a lot there. Zach Ertz, Dallas Goddard. So there's weapons. And then Andre Dillard taking the role there at left. Uh and then the rest of the offensive line looks basically the same on to the defense defense looks looks vastly similar opposed to the secondary so we still got graham barnett in a contract here usually means he'll play uh, he'll ball out uh cox and um jackson's there we got windsor to kind of be a rotation guy we have linebacker in court tj edwards he's he played very well last year so he's going to step into that role troy die logan wilson's there probably pick up some maybe a cheap cost veteran come help out and then byron jones jalen johnson and then you got mckenzie alexander and then Sidney jones who could also play the slot so you have it looks a lot better i think the secondary looks a lot better devin mccourty xavier mckinney and then we're not tied too much for cap going to 2021 because honestly we could then probably part ways in 2021 with alshon jeffrey uh ooh. probably part ways with sean jackson that frees up almost 13 million next year so it, it gives them good good avenues so I think we did good, but that's it for the video. Go ahead and do the YouTube thing. Let me know how I did. This was actually a pretty fun one with the Eagles because I, I was strapped. I was strapped for cash, and I had to go in with the game plan. But until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later. Later.